Ayoki here, and I'm going to be showing you how to wire up your Serato and Ableton to your mixer and Allen and Heath Zone 2D. Um, as I said in the last video, I showed you a little example of how it works, but now I'm going to show you how it's all set up. I made up some wiring diagrams, took screenshots of my Ableton setups, just so that you can do it at home. Um, just keep in mind, you still have to install your drivers and everything for, uh, for all the software. That's very important to remember. Um, so, if you don't feel like pausing through this video, I'm going to actually have photo bucket links in the description so that you can actually just print them out and try to figure it out. Now, if you have any questions, uh, you're trying to get it set up and you need some help, just get in touch with me. Um, you can just leave a comment and, uh, you know, hopefully you'll subscribe because there's some good more stuff. Good more? What the hell? There's more good stuff coming soon. Um, so, let's take a closer look. Alright, so you see here everything is running between the mixer and the sound card that's built into the MIDI controller. Here you have the uh, Allen & Heath Zone 2D and a Zone 92 mixer and everything also gets run through the uh, Serato box. Just one thing you don't see here are the, all the USB cables get connected directly to your computer or USB hub. And the next few screens you're going to see is how everything should be set up in Ableton. This screen being the most important, this is how all your channels should be set up. Now this next screen, we're going into the live preferences. This is how your preferences should look if you're using the Zone 2D. And keep in mind the links to these images are in the description. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.